a faraway cosmos known as Tasty Space. The great Bacon Spirit, creator of worlds, gave birth to an unimaginable horror. The fiery chaos sparked by the spirit's flames gave life to Bacon Man. His destiny as the King of Meat was without a doubt a legacy in the making. On one fateful night, while Bacon Man was playing croquet, one of his most loyal henchmen, Jimmy, delivered grave news to him. His grandfather, Old King Roast Beef, ruler of Meat Zone, had died. Naturally, the sad and grieving Bacon Man was next in line for the throne. Not that, uh, <clears throat> that was his, uh, <laughs> top priority or something. Regardless, Bacon Man's future seemed miraculously bright. Without a doubt in his mind, he was going to be the Meat Throne successor. That was, until the rulers of Nomround decided that Bacon Man was the one that killed the Old King Roast Beef. Who should be the next Meat King? The mad and unrelenting Bacon Man, or the sane and kin Pork King? Finally, the gracious Food Kings granted the throne to Pork King instead of Bacon Man, as a way to keep the meat growth in check, and to maintain a powerful ally. Outraged with uh, rage, uh, Bacon Man pronounced the Food Kings his enemies. His revolt was a way to reclaim his throne and stop the tyranny once and for all. Unfortunately for him, killing your own grandfather is frowned upon. Even if you yell, I didn't do it, over and over again. Due to his drastic reaction and fearful power, Bacon Man was banished to the freezer, never to be seen again. The Bacon Man problem was long gone, and the Food Kings were finally at ease as their plans to rule Nomround could not be spoiled by Bacon Man anymore. But perhaps they were a tad careless.